Today is another historic milestone. I'm incredibly proud to announce that the Canada Growth Fund is investing $200 million in Entropy, a world-leading carbon capture and sequestration company headquartered here in Calgary. This investment is going to help Entropy scale up their signature carbon capture technology and reduce emissions at Advantage Energy's gas plant in the peace country. This is an extra personal bonus for me. Um, best part of Alberta. Um, and we'll reduce emissions there by 2.8 million tons over 15 years. And the investment is going to help Entropy commercialize their world-leading technology for use at projects here in Canada and around the world. This has been a huge, um, a huge lift, uh, a great deal of effort went to make this possible. And that came from all the different parties in the deal. So I'll start by just uh, saying the carbon capture is a huge global challenge and it's an important on a global level. Uh, the way that we think about carbon capture is often conflated into a simple CCS does this and it costs this amount. And what we've all seen uh, recently is um, it's been, become politicized in some cases because of the possibility of, of problems or costs or failures. Uh, and, and I think that the way that Entropy likes to look at carbon capture is simply that we start with a very large problem and you break it down into smaller problems. So the way we see things in decarbonization, every ton of carbon dioxide is... Uh, is a ton that we should target for the lowest possible cost. So what Entropy has done is built technology that's focused on capturing the highest number of tons for the lowest number of dollars. Today's announcement here further demonstrates Alberta's proven track record of global leadership on both CCUS and industrial carbon pricing and emissions trading. We know that it is entirely possible to reduce emissions while still producing the affordable, reliable energy that the world needs. And our government believes that clean technology is the key to reducing emissions in the years ahead.